In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, saints Basil and Gregory, grant we pray that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. The man who denies that Jesus is the Christ, he is the liar, he is Antichrist, and he is denying the Father as well as the Son, because no one who has the Father can deny the Son. And to acknowledge the Son is to have the Father as well. Keep alive in yourselves what you were taught in the beginning. As long as what you were taught in the beginning is alive in you, you will live in the Son and in the Father. And what is promised to you by His own promise is eternal life. This is all that I am writing to you about the people who are trying to lead you astray. But you have not lost the anointing that He gave you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. The anointing He gave teaches you everything. You are anointed with truth, not with a lie. And as it has taught you, so you must stay in Him. Live in Christ then, my children, so that if He appears, we may have full confidence and not turn from Him in shame at His coming. The Word of the Lord All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known His salvation, has shown His justice to the nations. He has remembered His truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who received Him, He gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how John appeared as a witness. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I am not the Christ. Well, then they asked, Are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am, as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, make a straight way for the Lord. Now, these men had been sent by the Pharisees and they put this further question to him, 
Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ, and not Elijah, and not the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany, on the far side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the brothers and sisters in Christ, may the Lord give you peace. Today, our readings on this second day of the new year are inviting us to continue to remain in Christ and to allow Christ to dwell and remain in us. Now, how do we do this? Let's take a look at the life of St. John the Baptist. He who was visited by the newly conceived Son of God, even while he was in his mother's womb, continued to remain in communion with Christ by spending his life preparing the way for him even to the extent of literally losing his head. What about us, my dear friends? How are we being called to remain in Jesus today and to allow his anointing to teach and guide us? Let us ask Saints Basil and Gregory continued intercession to enlighten our minds and our hearts so that we would be able to remain in the path of life and love as we embark on this new year. Following our Lord's teaching, let us now say with faith and trust the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.